wave hands in the air. How many of you wish you could be more successful? Your business, your job, or your life in general? By way of hands. Every hand. Yeah. Back at the age of 10, I made a conscious decision that I was going to be successful at what I did. Imagine going into a sale, feeling on top of the world, and saying to yourself, I'm going to get this, no matter what. And in your business over the next six months to a year, you have got to make that choice that you're going to do whatever it takes, that you're never going to give up, and every challenge that comes your way, you will overcome. You've got the easy bit, because you don't actually have to do anything. Society programs us to think negatively, and that's what I like to refer to as negative programming. We're almost inbred by society and uh, the situations around us to think about what can go wrong rather than what can go right. It's to go absolutely nuts. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, shout, scream, stomp. And I want you all to point it directly at Sue here. So you ready? Yes! Set, one, two, three, go! bit of a release. Imagine having that power in your mindset every single day. Imagine you hearing that clapping for yourself. Imagine how you would feel when you go in to get what you want from a situation. And that is instantly shooting yourself in the foot because you're straight away thinking something is going to go wrong with my business. Something's going to go wrong in the meeting account. Am I actually going to make that sale? Will I do what I need to do? And straight away your mindset starts to, to waver. You start to lose confidence. And everything around you is then negatively influenced by how you're feeling and how you're acting. Actually not. Because the difference between I can and I can't is just one T. And it's actually, it actually takes more effort to write I can't rather than I can. The key person of influence, forget mood munchers and mood makers, who is the one person who has the biggest amount of influence in your, in your business? In yourself. Why? You. What do you need to do to get where you need to be? The choice is up to you. Remember that success is a choice and you control that choice. It just depends what choice you make. I speak about personal selling. I speak about effective networking. I speak about changing for success. And I also speak about creating focus. This one's all about love. And it simply says, don't go looking for love because it's already looking for you. Thank you very much for hearing me speak today. Create a call to action and achieve your goals and dreams. Thank you very much.